This is a short video about the frame for the John Buckwalter Design 20 ton narrow gauge shea. 76 inches long. The main frame rails are made from half by two channel. And you see they're attached together with welds in several places. The front uh, buffer beam support Two inch angle plus there's a, a two inch channel going across a couple little gussets on the side on the left side there are short brackets that are bent and welded to support the walk boards and tanks on the right side if they're they're longer to match the offset of the frame because of the uh, weight of the engine and the boiler you see here, this is the front bolster. See underneath the saddle for the boiler. That's the pin that the, the bolster will pivot on the truck with. Um, you see in here is some uh, rigging for the brakes. Uh, there's several brackets that go along for the brakes as well to, to guide them. Um, what you see here are the, the queen post supports. One on each side, there's lefts and rights, and uh, they, the 3 16 rods go through here, and then they connect to a coupler bracket that changes to a quarter inch rod. And then you see the, the queen post here that support the truss rod, and there's two of those, they're 5 16 steel, and that's machined and tapped 5 16 and then there's a little nest on the bottom end of it. Um, so it's pretty well done now from a, a welding and bolting stuff together. You can kind of see there's supposed to be rivets on a real engine here, but I used uh, 1032 um, button head screws instead. Um, <coughs> There's the frame is tapped here for um, 832s for the queen post. These are my footrest brackets nested in amongst everything else. And you can see the how things are attached. Uh, haven't decided what I'm going to use for buffers. I may use cast iron. I have a big cast iron bar that may be a good idea for extra weight. I haven't made that final decision yet. So. Anyway, that's pretty much the frame is complete now, except for uh, bolt-on accessories. The welding should be done.